Hey guys, it's Sunday of Memorial Day weekend in 2016. My buddy Mike and I are going to hit this beautiful body of water here. It's a really nice lake. Uh, you know, it's just that time of year. You may be uh, fishing areas that are pressured. You may have closed seasons on, say, smallmouth and largemouth bass. But you probably got a lake, a creek, a river, something like that near you that has a very large pickerel population. So the pickerel are often going to be overlooked, but they're a lot of fun to catch. Just remember, they're toothy little critters, so they can easily bite you off. So you might want to use a, a steel leader or a heavier leader on them. But uh, Mike and I are going to hit this up. Probably was uh, beat pretty good the last couple of days of the holiday weekend, so we're going to mix it up a little bit. He's going to be using the fly a lot. I'm going to be working deeper in the water column. We're going to try to hit it a little bit different than other people probably hit it the last couple of days. My name is Mike Nissel. I'm at the PKFA. Have a great day. Like I mentioned, so a Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, sure the lake here was uh, beat pretty hard yesterday. So what I do when I know the lake's been beat hard and a lot of pickerel here, try to work lower. Because you know a lot of people are going to be working the shorelines, uh, using a lot of top water, uh, water column baits, small spinner baits, inline spinners, beetle spins, that type of stuff. Uh, you know, weightless uh, you know, soft plastic, stuff like that. So if you want to work deeper in the water column, this is what I'm doing. Basically, it's just a jig head with a uh, gulp schmelt. This thing really works well. I've caught what would have been the state record pickerel in Pennsylvania on it a couple years ago. Unfortunately, the lake where it was caught is a catch and release only lake, so I couldn't, uh, you know, register the fish. This is really cool. I'm actually rigging it weedless, and I'm going to throw this and then work it along the bottom because I know the last couple of days this place was probably beat pretty bad. Um, and this way, I'm probably going to be working areas that other people might not have hit. My name's Mike. I'm at the PKFA today. Uh, I'm going to be targeting off the bottom and running swim baits with no weights on them through the weeds. And I'm going to be throwing a lot of flies today. Stuff they mostly don't see. Throwing cluster minnows and deceivers and maybe a couple musky flies. See if any of the pike will take them. <laughs> the line wrapped around the upper jaw. Well, we've had a change of pace. Uh, not that the deep fishing won't work, but we've gotten on a lot of uh, largemouth bass. Uh, that are up closer to the shoreline. I uh, get a lot of them on Cinco style baits. I'm using a uh, Bass Assassin fat job. So uh, up to about 17 inches. So let's keep on fishing and see what happens. Try a couple of different techniques. And Mike's now throwing the fly. Well, the jig head gulp combination didn't work as well as I thought it would because the pickerel really haven't transitioned from a shoreline spawning location into the deeper water yet. So you have a combination of largemouth bass and pickerel kind of in that mid-range. Uh, 
basically around rocks uh, a couple feet below the surface, uh, about halfway between the shore and the channel. So they're starting to move out into the deeper water into a post-spawn pattern, but they're not really there yet. So I transitioned, as you've seen, to a Cinco style soft plastic stick bait. This is a bass assassin fat job. The way I tinkered with this a little bit, of course, it's weedless. I took a finishing nail and stuck it inside right here in the forebody, uh, really between the, uh, the snap and the uh, point of the hook. So we actually give a little bit more erratic action in the water. I'll also make the head dive and, and fall quicker than the tail. So the tail will get, get a little bit more action. So Mike, how'd you do? Yeah, about six pickerel. What worked? What worked for you? Soft plastics, Senkos. I went through, probably had a whole bag. <laughs> All mutilated, chopped up. Got down to the last one and had to resort to super glue. Nice. FishYacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.